Okay, so I'm ready and here we are. Hi everyone! I have been MI since two weeks, I know, and the reason is that I was traveling. And I know most of you who follow me on Instagram already know that, that I went to London for a week and before that I was in Ireland. And those of you who don't know, please follow me on Instagram because I share my travel stories, shopping and a lot of other things. You will really enjoy it, I bet. And uh, before going to London, I had planned few things that I'm going to shop from here. I researched and everything and uh, I did uh, follow almost what I, you know, I had planned. And uh, so I wanted to share with you what all you can do when you're in London, what all you should shop and what all you can skip when you're shopping in London. Because it is so good there like things are so beautiful cheap and of good quality and that uh, no matter whosoever go there is going to shop a lot so i'm going to uh, share with you my haul as well there is like a lot of stuff which i have to share with you let me show you what all i have to you know share with you it's like huge so so this is like my whole suitcase which i have to show you guys although i'll be very very quick because i don't want you know to waste a lot of your time as well and uh, make the video super super long there's this one suitcase which i have to show you and which i was planning to you know put everything in the almira and place it properly my new little things but then i thought that before you know organizing it let me just show it to you so that it will be easier for me as well and this is all Anvika stuff which I got, you know, for, uh, uh, I have to get it clean and everything. And then there are these suitcases. Thing is that I, we shopped so much in London that we had to ultimately buy two new suitcases from there. Because uh, we had no space to uh, take things back. See, this is my one suitcase and this is my true second one. And these suitcases are an awesome buy. I'm going to tell you everything uh, one by one. First, let's begin with the tips of shopping in London. So let's do this quickly before I show you my haul. Things which you need to keep in mind before shopping in London. First thing is that Oxford Street. Just learn the street because this is the street where you get everything. Like it's such a delight visiting that street. I visited that street three times. First, I visited it just to, you know, get the feel and all. By the way, you can reach that street easily with the connect because uh, all, uh, like it has a separate station in the sense just go to the Oxford Circus and you are there at the Oxford Street. So you won't have any problem reaching there. Once you enter into the street, you will see uh, Primark, you will see H&M store, you will see Topshop, they are humongous but uh, they cannot be covered in two days also, they are so big. So uh, you should plan it out beforehand what all you want to buy. For example, I wanted to buy some of the, uh, you know, winter clothing for the obvious reason that I thought that winter clothing will be better there and less expensive also and it came out to be true and uh, the thing is that I, uh, I bought a lot of coats and uh, jackets and sweaters from there and uh, I went straight to Primark now the best thing to do is that go early in the morning to shop there otherwise at night it gets so chaotic and so crowded you will have to wait for a long time just to try your stuff and then stuff is also not that friendly in fact uh, you know uh, I'll tell you later like how you can get discount from Primark so uh, thing is that you know there are like three four floors in Primark so what you should do is that first just you know go around the store and because there is so much of stuff you better uh, prioritize your stuff what all you have to get it might happen that you get so many you know tops or so many skirt that oh, there are so many things which you have to leave behind I had planned out a lot of things and I knew what I have to buy but still there were so many things which I had to leave because I didn't have space and of course the money was also beca uh, became a question after a while so uh, you, you better better first visit the whole store and then buy it and you can visit H&M Topshop later on but first start from Primark if you are looking for budget things because that is the cheapest there I, I, been, I went to all the other stores as well but this one was 
the cheapest so uh, there is men section women section kids section everything is there now the the point is all the point is although the stuff is very cheap but if you are buying for like 400 pounds or something then you definitely need a discount though the staff didn't tell me and only if uh, they'd help me only when they asked about it so don't forget to ask about it those citizens who are not from eu what they can do is they can get their bill stamped and they will give you a form get that form filled you have to write about your passport details and where you're coming from your whole name etc and take that uh, to airport there is this section called as the VAT section VAT uh, exchange or something I'll write it down I'll find out what exactly was the name and you have to go there and they will return you the tax so it will be around 12 to 13 percent which is a good margin so I got uh, roughly around five, 50 pounds back uh, in, oh I got like 50 euros back and that was like a good good deal they they can return you in pounds and they can return you in euros so you can even ask for cash or you can even ask the amount for in credit card uh, if you ask for cash they deduct like two three uh, dollars or pounds and if you ask them to directly uh, send them to your credit card then they will do that also but there they won't deduct anything and uh, if like you know there was like few bills of mine which was ha which had a like very small shopping and that also i took the uh, return and tax return and there it was like one pound four pound so they told me ma'am we cannot pay you cash for that so i told them okay it's okay give me in my credit card it's okay whatever now if you want to buy branded stuff like louis vuitton burberry and all then don't buy it from oxford street you need to go to the best village which is like a short drive from london you need like a whole day uh, for it so it's like that you have you need at least two days just to shop there even if you want to shop a little but then you will definitely need time to roam around and check the stuff which you want to buy so uh, this is like a short drive let me check how far it's very near to london i think it's around like an hour and two so you can check out that and there you get 70 percent off on all the branded stuff that is like a steal guys so you if you go there then please 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 make a point to visit this place also i wasn't able to do it because i was like really short on time and i had to come back to india but these things will really help you body shop yes i have to show you my body shop haul also all these things like there was this offer where uh, all this body butter this was for four pounds only that is around like nine into four 36 360 rupees and on two body butter you were getting one free so i got these body butters and in different fragrance and then in the scrub section also these were of like four to six pound between four to six pound and with two you were getting one free they were like such a deal guys like i couldn't resist and i had to buy it and lip balm was of just rupees two pounds and uh, in in those also you get like two plus one free and body washes also which were of like four pound and you were getting two with plus one free now after shopping all this this mini products and with different fragrance which i can enjoy like for so many months although they are in less quantity they are of like 60 ml but still they will last long i got this full size product free as well so this was around like 34 pounds and then i got this whole box full of full size product free i have to show you this this is like you know whole free size product i'm like so happy buying this i love strawberries so there's this loofah there is body polish there is whole big 250 ml shower gel body butter and there is soap also and then i took the bill got it discounted like i got my tax back at the airport also at the currency uh, at the vat returns so like it was like an you know steal i must tell you like even my husband was helping me because he was like it is so inexpensive you just take it all but yes uh, like in the end we ended up having six suitcases and between two of us with a child to take care of so it was really difficult and we were really afraid how will we go back home with so much of luggage and uh, i got few other stuff also then i had to skip a lot of makeup also i wanted to buy rimmel i wanted to, to buy soap and glory but then 
luggage became a problem for me but now i'm going to show you what all i got in um in clothing and all and few other stuff and uh, in hair mask also this was so cheap yeah like it was like two pound hair mask and this is for urgan and jo uh, jojoba oil rescue hair mask so i wanted to buy two but then i ended up like okay i'm going to buy only one two pound hair mask i'm going to try and review it on my blog now i'm going to show you my clothing haul so i got these three pound each stoles see they're so comfortable so soft and i can use them in summers i can use them in winters and oh my god i love them like oh, i'm not able to wear them properly right now but you can do so many things with it and just enjoy wearing your stuff like it's so good guys what this in this color and uh, i got one more i guess uh, three pound each it's, it's like nine and two three 270 rupees each how cheap can that be and i got a lot of coats see these overcoats i got this one all these coats were of uh, all these overcoats were of 30 pound each and in india uh, you won't get this quality and at this price you will definitely not get it i do uh, you know i keep showing you all these how they look uh, on my instagram page and on my blog these are the leather skirt which i got and this was of uh, rupees 10 pounds and uh, uh, this is so good. I wanted to buy two, three more, but then I thought that like, I should stick to my count. Otherwise, I will end end up buying too many things and will skip. I have to skip a lot of things. These are the long sweater which I got. It's really, really warm, and this is of fifteen pound. So all this you can materialize by nine. It is like your uh, pound is around like eighty seven. So it will, with the exchange and all, it will cost you around like 89. So I multiplied by 90. And this, this, this is also very warm, very comfy and beautiful. I bought a lot of stuff for Anvika as well, my daughter. And I don't know if you will be interested in seeing her stuff. Probably I'll do that on my baby channel. This is a black overcoat I got. And uh, it it's like a plain with a zip. Oh, no. This is not a black overcoat. This I got for my father-in-law. The same thing I got it for my uh, papa as well. My father. And this is for 35 pound. This is like really warm. I just, I'm just touching it and I'm finding it like so warm and so soft. And this was the heaviest thing I got for them. Like this is the heaviest in my stuff. So these two I got for my uh, father-in-law and my papa. And then this is the coat which I was talking about. This is for 30 pound and it has this thing. Uh, so you can tie it and wear it. So it looks like really stylish. And this is for 30 pound as well, that overcoat. And yeah, this is the third stole which uh, I got. This is in maroon color. This was also for three pound and the legging don't forget to buy them these leggings have a speciality first of all you get three pairs in three pound it means like one pair in one pound can you believe that and it is it has weather sensor finish opaque type this is what it is called basically it keeps you warm when it is cool and cool when it is warm so these are like awesome i bought two of these and in different colors which I can wear in winters now. And then there is more. Oh, where's my suitcase? Ah, come here. So that's my another pair which I got in black. And this is also for 3.50 pounds for three. And for those who love Harry Potter. I got so much Harry Potter stuff, guys. Uh, I and my husband were fighting, like, who's going to wear this? Like, we both have same size. So this is the Harry Potter sweatshirt which we got. And it ha it's written Hogwarts. Yeah, I'm so excited about it. Like, we got this. And this is the uh, Hogwarts bag, Harry Potter bag, which I got. 
uh, this was like 10 pounds if I remember correctly it was like very cheap guys um, this was like 12 pounds and the quality and everything is so good about it and can you see the tag Hogwood so now I am a Hogwood student so and I got skirts they were like so many beautiful skirts here there but I got just two for myself they were like 10 pounds each you can see I'll be wearing them in winters and they're so comfortable like they were in black they were in shiny black they were in glitter you name it and the color is there and size is not a problem they start from 0 to 20 22 like that's not a problem and then I got these leggings they were in five pounds I got three of them in all the color uh, I could think of and uh, uh, this you know uh, is very smooth so basically I didn't get the stuff which is very uh, which is very you know in in the sense I got stuff which will last for me longer because I of course I'm not going there every year or something so I bought stuff which is like you know for for my daily wear or for something which will not go out of fashion after a while and that's the another jacket uh, for my father and that's my another overcoat I know I'm really guilty of buying so many heavy coats but uh, this is like this is so good look at this and it has this uh, cap which will keep me warm although we have winters just for two months but then I had to get it they must last long for me so it's okay and this is the another this is another uh, Hogwarts shirt the Harry Potter shirt which I got and it costed 10 pounds yeah everything was between 10 15 starting from 5 and it was amazing buying all these things and then I got this for my wall this is also from Harry Potter these are Dumbledore words happiness can be found even in the darkest of time if only one remember to turn the light and there's this small light which when you press it this glows so if you go to Harry Potter studio and everything is so damn expensive like nothing is below 25 pounds but when you go to Primark there's a whole wide world of Harry Potter there like it was like we got few things from Harry Potter studio as well and we were like oh why did we waste money because in Primark you can buy so many things of Harry Potter uh, I have to show you two more bags I'm not too sure if you would like to see but quickly I should do that so I have opened my next suitcase and regarding my suitcase I will just show you that as well uh, so this is my suitcase it's very very light this is just 1.6 kg and it has a 10 year warranty and it is of 10, 30 pounds so in 30 pounds it's like 2700 you can get this suitcase and uh, you can also take it in the plane with you they will allow you that and it does allow you to carry a lot of stuff so I got two of these one is this and one is this one which has a lot of my daughter's stuff right now I think it is good to buy from there um, I got this seven pound bag for my friend she wanted all this sling bag she likes them she carries them with her whenever she's with her kids like when she's doing grocery shopping she just add money and her um, and her uh, phone and all and she wears this so I got this for seven pound and there was like whole area full of bags there and they were so damn pretty but then I chose to skip them and then there's this one dress which I got and this is kind of a you know so sleek dress one piece dress long one piece dress which I got and that's my husband jacket this dress is for just six pound you if you want to buy dresses and shirts and skirts they are way cheaper than the coat of course and then this jacket I got it for my husband this is for 23 pounds and look at this this is a kind of a daily wear jacket and uh, what else I have to show you so I've, I think I have shown you pretty much all the stuff the stuff now it's time to show you my daughter's stuff so I'm going to show my daughter haul in my another ch channel that is mom and 
baby tv so if you are interested then i'm going to link the video link in the comment section and if you want me to try this and show you all my haul then let me know in the comment section and of course the vlog will be coming up soon i will see you again don't forget to subscribe bye bye